Hello, boys and girls. So today we are going to talk about a new character development word. Do you remember what character means? Character is what is inside your heart and character describes you. So maybe you have good character. Maybe you have a very quiet character as part of your personality. Or maybe you like to be loud and sing and play. And so that could be your personality. That's part of your character. But there's different char there's different characteristics that God would like us to have that sometimes don't come naturally to us. Something we need to pray for and work on. So sometimes we are good at being generous. Sometimes we are good at being loving. And other times we need God's help. So sometimes if you're thinking about something and it seems hard because maybe you don't want to share with your little brother or maybe you're being impatient with mom or dad, I want you to remember that God is the one who gave us the Holy Spirit and God is the one who wants us to display these characteristics. So we'll be doing it because we're showing our love for God and for our family. So today we're talking about being gentle. Oh, did you know gentleness is one of the fruits of the Spirit? It is. Let me read you a verse. In 2 Timothy 2.24, it says, Be gentle unto all men. That means all people, all people that God made to be gentle. Do you see this little girl here? She's out with her mom shopping with her baby brother. Oh, I'm sure you've been in that exact situation if you have a younger sibling. And mom or dad, they're pushing the stroller. But do you know what? Do you know why they have to be in that stroller all buckled up? Because they're younger and they need us to be more careful with them. There are times when we can be loud and playful. And there's other times when we must be gentle. When we talk to or play with someone who's smaller than we are, we should be careful with them. We should be so gentle that we don't frighten or injure them. There's times that we need to be gentle at school, at home, at church. Gentle when we're getting in line so we don't shove or push someone out of the way. When we play together on the playground. When we are at home with our family. So there's times that mom or dad or grandma might ask us to be gentle. What are some other places that we can be gentle? I'll let you think for a minute. What about with our animals. Some of you have some pets at home, don't you? Mrs. Desire doesn't have any, because as you remember, I say this all the time, I am allergic to cats, they make me sneeze. And even though they're very cute, I can't have any because I'm allergic. But animals are God's creation, God's special creation that we can enjoy. Sometimes we can enjoy them from afar, like lions and bears, and some we get to enjoy in our very own houses. We should treat pets gentle. God created the animals for us to enjoy. Some of the animals God make, made make great pets. Do you have a pet? If you have a pet, I would love to see a picture. And so I can post it. Maybe you have a dog or a bunny. <gasps> or maybe a bird, or maybe a fish, or maybe you're like me and you don't have any pets and that's okay. How should you hold your pet? How should you talk to your pet? Should you yell at them and be mean? Oh no, sometimes we have to yell if they're about to get into danger, right? But we should be gentle with our pets. So we're always to be gentle with those that are smaller than us, but also even those that are bigger than us. The Lord wants us to be do our very best. So today, while you're home with mom, dad, or grandma, and maybe you're home with younger brothers and sisters, or maybe cousins, I want you to really practice this today. Being gentle. 